You got to earn, you got to increase your earn and you got to take control of your burn so you can get into the conversation around real estate. All right, so your personality will create your personal reality. And the same thing stands for your money personality and people have a money personality. You have a relationship with money. You are managing your money. You might be going, no, I'm not managing it, Rock. Yeah, you're managing it or you're not managing it, which means you're still managing it, you're just managing it poorly. So here are a couple of elements that make up the money personality that I've noticed about myself. Number one is there's a level of amount of money that I earn and that you earn. An amount that you burn and that I burn, that you spend, right? That you use to survive in the world. There's an amount that's left over the gap that I call the opportunity, which is an amount that you can spend again or you can invest it. Most people are trained to spend the amount of money that they have left over. We are a consumers-based society. And so what I like to tell people is if you look at the cash flow quadrant, 95% of people are on the left side, which is employee or self-employed, and they have about 5% of the wealth in the world. 5% of the population is on the right-hand side, which is business owners, operators, and investors. And those have about 95% of the wealth. So that would be the Warren Buffetts and the Bill Gates of the world, the Steve Jobs, the people like that. And then there's the smaller operators like me that have small businesses with 10, 15, 20 employees. But it's still leveraged to the point that I don't have to be the operator in it. The operator means that are you required day to day to make the business operate? Or another way you could look at it is the business is worth how much it makes when you're not there. So if you're busy doing 80 hours a week and you're wearing three hats, then likely is you just own a job, you don't have a business. And that being said, is if you look at money personality types, is what's the biggest check you could write right now? If I said to you, you could double your money in the next six months, write me a check, I guarantee you you'll double your money, what could you write right now? What do you have access to? What are your resources? That's part of your money personality. So that's one way that I look at it. The other thing is, are you constantly looking at building your skills? Because skills pay the bills. And if you get better at what you're doing, then your earn will go up. Make sense? So we are consciously looking for ways for you to increase your ability to earn. Ask for a raise. Add more value. Create a side hustle. Do different things. Work more hours so you can increase your earn. Why? Because when you increase your earn, and maybe simultaneously, you decrease your burn, you spend less, and the four major areas are around food and transportation, housing and discretionary spending. It's like vacations and, and you know, jewelry and shoes and that kind of thing, golf clubs. Um, when you create that gap, you create an amount of money that allows you to now do a new opportunity with. Now people that are unhappy and people that are doing a job that they don't like, what they typically do is on the weekends, is they spend the money, they don't invest it, they spend it on entertainment or distractions because they don't like their week. It makes sense, I would probably do the same thing. But if you love what you're doing, you're fortunate enough to, or you're conscious enough, that you go, listen, I'm gonna increase my earn, decrease my burn, I'm gonna take the rest for a period of time and invest it into one of the three cash flowing assets. What are they? Real estate, businesses, and stocks. And then those things start becoming a team member for you in creating and generating more earn. And as your earn goes up, 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 and your burn stays about the same because what I've learned is that, you know, I, I wanted to make hundreds of thousands of dollars passively a month. And, and then I got to a point where I'm like, I really can't spend much more than about 20 grand a month, maybe 30 grand, unless I want to go crazy and like fly jets and do crazy stuff, right? So 20 or 30 grand a month, you could live really, really well. So what does it take you to get to a place where your passive income vehicles or horizontal are creating 20 to 30,000 a month? That would be a pretty cool goal, don't you think? And then once you get there, if you're making hundreds of thousands of dollars a month, guess what? You now reinvest that, and before you know it, like me, I'm living off of about 5% of what I earn, which means that now my, my net worth is starting to hockey stick. 
So what I've learned over the years is that you want to look at your money personality type because your personality creates your personal reality. You want to look at what your habits are around earning and how you can increase that, create a side hustle, etc. You want to look at how you're spending money and where are areas that you can save, at least on the short term, if that makes sense to you. You want to look at being a new part-time investor, which is 20 minutes a day of investing, right? Of looking at your money and managing it and making decisions around that. And then you also want to look at how you can build businesses or leverage them. And once you do all that, then you should be pretty set. Now, I have 43, 44 streams of income at the time of this recording. People say to me, how did you do that? Well, first of all, I'm 58. So I have had a lot of time, a lot of runway to add businesses. But I'll give you this as a perspective, is if you started a new business or a new side hustle every six months, or forget that, once a year, whatever age you are, let's say you're 35, this is an example, right? And that's a round number. And by the time you'd be my age, it would be 23 years later, you could have 23 streams of income if you did one a year, 23, plus the one you have hopefully, or maybe two or three. That's pretty solid. If you want to do real estate, I bought a piece of real estate 21 years ago. I invested $125,000 and there's some details to that story, but the quick story is it's worth 5 million today. So you don't wait to buy real estate. You buy real estate and you wait. But if you don't have the gap between the earn and the burn, you don't have any money to put into real estate. You can't play that game. You can't buy and wait and have it chugging in the background, right? And just throwing off money at you. That's why I start with the, the what? The earn. You got to earn. You got to increase your earn. And you got to take control of your burn so you can get into the conversation around real estate. That would be my suggestion to you, no matter where you're at, is continue. You could have five beautiful businesses like I do, but guess what? I own lots of real estate that are just throwing money at me every month. And they're growing because there's four ways that you make money from real estate. So look at your money personality type. Like who are you in those areas that I mentioned at the top of this video? See how you can get an upgrade for yourself. Surround yourself with people that are gonna support, encourage, and challenge you to be the best version of yourself. And then as you do that, keep it simple. Stay on that track and then watch yourself rock your money so you can rock your life with time freedom. Because when you win the money game, you get time back. And that is what my mission is for you.